biggest biblical beast of a book is actually a light novel. If you don't know what this is, this is the A Certain Magical Index Old Testament Omnibus. And I am so lucky to have been given this early by Yen Press to review it for you directly. I just can't put into words how much it means to me to receive like this incredible book. By the way, this thing weighs an absolute ton because it has all 22 volumes of the original Old Testament light novel of a certain magical index in it, in addition to the two side stories. So that is why it is a behemoth of a volume or book or whatever you want to call it. Like this looks like a holy scripture and when, when I'm like touching it now and holding it, it feels like I have to respect it so much. When you see it on the screen, it's not like the same as holding the physical object in person. I mean, just, just look at that, the gold pages and the spine. This is like a grimoire from Index. And I think just like Yami Sakaoma, it will blow your mind. If you're somehow unfamiliar with a certain magical index, the story takes place in Academy City basically occurring in a parallel world to our own, with the exception that a third of Tokyo has become a city-state, separated from the rest of the world, focusing on developing esper powers amongst the students who reside there, forming the science side of the world, with the other half of the world being formed of the magic side, composed of multiple religions, faiths, and magic cabals, who practice magic in secret amongst their groups. And these two sides are essentially trying to avoid a war with each other. But things aren't always as simple as they may seem, due to a few individuals who would think a war might be beneficial for whatever reason. Our main protagonist is Kamijo Toma, who is a level 0 Esper. At the bottom of the Esper food chain, he essentially has no power, except for Imagine Breaker, a mysterious power that can't be explained by magic or science that allows him to nullify any ability that is supernatural. And then he comes into contact with a nun who is in Academy City called Index, and she has over 100,000 magical grimoires or magical books in her head, making her a valuable asset for the magic side. Except she's being hunted down by members of her own church. And Terma must do whatever it takes to protect her. Like, not only is this a beautiful collector's item for hardcore fans of the series like myself who have already read the entirety of Old Testament and maybe beyond that, it's also great for like people who just want to get into the novels because the light novels are so much better than the anime in my opinion. Like, no disrespect to the Index anime. I know Index Season 3 was rushed, but this is the comprehensive full experience of the story as a lot of stuff was cut out especially in season three changes were made to season one as well even if you don't know anything about the series haven't seen the anime i think this is a classic of the light novel industry in japan i mean it outsold sao in japan for a reason and that's without the anime being uber popular like sao as well this is a great sci-fi and fantasy story combining both magic and science with the plot developing in numerous ways with plenty of twists and turns and epic excellent cast of characters that i can't recommend enough like there's definitely a character for you in this story if you don't know anything about the series whatsoever there's so many things i want to talk about with the omnibus like for the fact that old testament is now an official name for the first light novel series of index so if you didn't know the sequel to this light novel series basically the part two of index is called new testament and then part three is called genesis testament so the fact that they've gone back and then canonized what the fans would call the first light novel series of index is absolutely fantastic in my opinion and really feels like it was made for the fans as this is absolutely beautiful it is gorgeous inside and out i love how it's themed in the actual book with the fonts and gold patterns inside it really does demonstrate how majestic this book is not only that yen press originally translated side story one and side story two after they completed the first 22 volumes but you'll be relieved to know that they've actually positioned side story one and two in their correct chronological orders or of release date as if you've seen index 2 in the anime the story that takes place in Sci story 1 is at the end of the academy city invasion arc which happens in the last two episodes and so 
this is placed exactly where that should be after volume 13. Similarly with SS2, I know that has different times it takes place in. It goes from um, earlier in the year and I think a year before the start of the main index timeline, but then goes back to the present day where it should take place after Old Testament 16. That is also in the correct place when it was originally published in Japan, which I think is great because it would be awkward when you get to the end of this massive book and you think, I finished like the climactic arc of the story and then there's just like two side stories slapped on the end i'm really glad that they didn't do that and they placed them in the correct order good job the biblical theming is not just on the outside it's also on the inside with the text being split into two paragraphs and you also get this lovely ribbon which acts as a bookmark as well which definitely adds to the whole value and concept of the book like i think the theming is so on point with this it feels like i'm holding an actual bible or religious text and yeah i can't demonstrate enough how much you need to treat this book with respect it really feels like i am reading the index gospel I'm and what more evidence do you need to prove that Toma is Jesus? I rest my case. Now, I know what you're thinking. With over 1,600 pages to this book and so many volumes and content inside, what does the text look like? Is it even readable? Do I need to get a microscope to read this? For me, who has perfect vision, like I don't need glasses or contact lenses or anything, I was completely fine reading this. It feels large enough. And I was a bit paranoid thinking, oh, like it's gonna be really tiny. But honestly, I feel like Yen Press did a great job at making the text readable and not too small. And I think splitting it into two paragraphs like in the Bible really helps. Oh yeah, I also like how at the start of a new chapter or volume that you'll get like a, a big letter like in the medieval scriptures and texts that you can see online or in like really old books. I like that. It gives it a more classic and biblical feel yet again. And surprisingly, the omnibus also functions as an art book, as you get massive full page spreads of the art in each volume. So not only is it a collector's item for the, you know, words in the actual book, but you also get a beautiful art by Haimura Sensei, which is classic and only improves the more you read, as he further developed his art style as the story went along. As you can see here, it does have a closing mechanism, that keeps it nice and secure. Like I have reiterated throughout this review, I recommend closing the book carefully while it's flat. Just make sure you treat it with respect and that is definitely the way to go, I recommend. I've been rereading Old Testament 1, which feels like forever, and I am really enjoying the story once again. Because Index is so vast and it has so much content and such an incredible lore and multiple power systems, Kimachi loves to name drop random terminology and characters in early volumes, which then transpire and grow as you read through the story. So foreshadowing is super important in the series, which is why I enjoy rereading it so much. And I'm definitely going to go through Old Testament again it's gonna be super fun and i might do some volume reviews for each of them in the future i don't know we'll see i know the price point might be a factor in some people's minds whether they decide to pick up the volume or not but considering you're getting 24 books in a convenient place and it's honestly a quality product it is beautiful from every single angle and i'm not joking like once you have it and you realize how high quality it actually is it's worth every penny, trust me. And because it is a collector's item, I feel like it's just going to go up and up in value anyway. So it seems like a no-brainer for any Index fan or anyone interested in checking out the series. Because like I said, this is the perfect way to read it. And I can't recommend it enough. Like, <laughs> I need to put this in like a special box or somewhere. I don't know. It needs to be just on display <laughs> in perfect condition and that. Like... It just feels that important to me and um you know this is my favorite series a series that i have you know fallen in love with been a, a fan for so many years like is it like seven years now or something crazy like that i don't know but yeah it just it's incredible i just hope you enjoy it as much as me this is something i've wanted since i was like 16 like way before this was even confirmed when the spice and wolf got like a, a special collector's edition omnibus i thought hey wouldn't it be great if one day index could get something like that and looks like dreams do come true like it's like it exists it's here and the fact that i have been you know given the opportunity to review this for you guys is just 
wonderful. Like, thank you so much. Like, it, <laughs> my words won't do it justice or anything like that. It's hard for me to formulate words at the moment. <laughs> like, but just want to say it, it means a lot to me and I, I really appreciate this. And shout, shout outs to Toonie as well. Toonie, you are a legend. Like, subscribe to him down below. Follow his Twitter. Uh, without him, I don't think this would have been possible. So, really appreciate it, honestly. Now that my current dream is over of having the Omnibus turn into reality, I do have another dream, which is maybe New Testament one day could get something like this. Being able to display both of these beautiful grimoires next to each other. Ooh! Beautiful. That would that would be incredible. Listen, I don't know if New Testament will get an official English translation or not, but I think it's super important to support Kamachi's works and the series overall. So definitely pick this up if you can. And who knows, this may lead to New Testament getting an English translation, but don't take my word for it. This is just what we can do as fans to support what we love. Also, I have dropped Amazon affiliate links in the description of the video and the pinned comment. So if you are interested in picking this up, I recommend doing so by clicking those links as then that will support the channel at the same time but remember they are affiliate links but again because i'm an overly polite british guy i have to say a massive massive thank you to yen press and toonie for uh, bestowing me with this incredible uh, grimoire slash omnibus or bible whatever you want to call it it's yeah just thank you so much it, it means the world to me uh yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time bye bye